Hello guys, in this uh, quick little video I will show you how you can display whatever custom post type you have made with the default query loop of WordPress. So we, it's something I almost never see used. It's a default block of WordPress. It's really easy, really powerful. The only thing you need um, is of course a custom post type that you've made. You see I have made teachers here. Yeah, and I have put in two teachers, teacher one and teacher two. And if I open one of them up, you will see that they have a name, a specialization, a picture, and some extra info. So these are the custom post fields that I added for each uh, teacher. For now, I have added two. Then I just did it with advanced custom fields um, to make the custom fields and the custom post type to make the teachers post type you can also do it with the jet engine if you would like a guide uh, for jet engine then just let me know and i will make uh, make the same video and then use jet engine to use the the same query okay so let's open up our home page this is the home page and you see i have already opened up the block uh, let me remove it and show you how it works so the default query block is here, query loop. It's a default standards block that's there. Put it in and we're gonna start blank. Uh, just pick one because we're gonna remove everything. And you see by default he adds some stuff. Let's open this up and we see our query loop. And we see we have the post template. It's within the post template that we're going to add our uh, advanced uh, custom fields. We're going to remove the pagination. We're going to remove this. Perfect. And then we're going to go to the right side first. And we're going to check if we can choose our custom post type. So because we don't want to query in the default post section, we want to query in our teacher post section. And you see already teacher 1 and teacher 2 are already um, coming up really nicely. Order by, you can see if you want oldest to newest, newest to oldest, or alphabetical. Um, that's a little bit limited. You have two filters as well. You can filter keywords and you can filter by author, and that's it. So in that, um, in that way, it may be a little bit limited, but if you don't need a lot of fancy stuff, it's going to work really well. So let's see. The post title, let's remove this. Yeah. Okay, post template. Let's see the defaults. One thing that's important, you need one plugin that allows you to put in dynamic uh, data. Um, for example, if you're using Jet Engine, Jet Engine has a default blocks that you can put in here and it will work perfectly fine. Again, if you want to, uh, just leave a, leave a comment and then I'll make a video uh, doing the same thing with Jet Engine. Um, I, because I'm a, a really big fan of Cadence blocks, I'm using the pro version of the Cadence blocks. This allows you also to put in dynamic data. I will show you even the default, um, default paragraph block that I have here. Um, this is just a WordPress block, uh, if I just type a little bit, and then I can see the options. And you see this icon here, dynamic contents. This is something added by the Cadence Pro version. Not the Cadence Pro team, but the Cadence Pro blocks. Normally you won't see this if you don't have the Pro uh, version installed. So even the default paragraph that's not a Cadence block is still able to put out dynamic content. Let's check it right. Dynamic content. I want the post custom field that's at the bottom, the current post, and then checking. And here we have them teacher name, specialization, extra info. Let's uh, pick the name, for example, and then add. You will see no content. Let's remove the test, of course. Um, let's update, but no worries if we open up our page and then we refresh, you see dummy and teacher two and these are the two names that i've put in so even if it's, it's no content here on the live page it's working perfectly fine okay let's add something new let's add our image i'm going to use the cadence advanced image here the right side we have the same icon it's always the same one dynamic image click on it Enable it, check post custom field, and we're going to check for picture. 
and then we see you see here we see twice the same uh, picture but normally if we refresh here you see he puts in the two so it works perfectly fine and I'm only using a default WordPress block uh, with the Cadence Pro version um, what's the advantage by you of using the Cadence blocks in this you can style them whatever suits you so I just put in a max width and let's refresh here sorry for my internet connection it's still refreshing at the moment Okay, this is taking a really long time. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay, and you see immediately that you can style it really easily this way. Okay. And then we can add in more stuff. So we have... Uh, we also have a, uh, another paragraph, for example. Um, I'll put in test again. So I see the options. Then I have dynamic data, post custom fields. I want the... Specialization, for example, let's put this in. Again, you will see no content, but if we open up the page, you see dummy specialization is very dummy. Teacher 2 is specialized in everything, so working fine. Now, you will say, How can we, for God's sake, make this a little bit more beautiful? Again, I'm just going to use cadence blocks. Let's insert um, another block here at the top and let's make this row layout. Let's say we want this and then we're just going to put in everything like this. And then click update, go back and you see we're already getting some kind of a layout and now you can play with it you can align middle you can make it the max width let's say we only want it to be 490 pixels okay so you can really style everything if you want to you can even and it's also a really nice feature if we go to the background settings we can add again the background image dynamically dynamic background image Post custom fields, picture, and then you see now I, I I have the same picture of course because I didn't put one in, but now you can even make a dynamic background just by using the default query loop within the post template. You can do whatever you want. You can, for example, let's use the accordion block. Let's use this one, just the default one at the title. Let's say uh, more info about and then we want dynamic content post custom field current post and we select the name add again no worries in the front end this will work perfectly fine and then we can add here our two paragraphs so one was our post custom fields and our name for example add it Oh, it was already added, so I did it twice now. So in the no, no content, you see it's already added. Yeah. So let's uh, add the name here. And the other one was the specialization. And let's add the specialization here as well. And then we'll remove the second pane. Voila. I'll just Pain, start with all planes collapse just to show you refresh let's look at this and all working perfectly fine okay, so you can do a lot of stuff I know this looks really really ugly but just to show you really quick how much options you have if you're using just a default query loop and then with default cadence blocks to, to make the layout and then you can just have to have the pro version activated to be able to pull in this part, this dynamic content, otherwise you won't see it. Um, and you can type in, like here, you can type in just normal text and then put in a piece of no, of, of a dynamic content. So before the no content, which is 
then for example here my name like this update and then you'll see my name so it's perfectly fine to combine custom text with the dynamic content as well so it's really powerful and if you play around with it you can make really awesome stuff if you want more info or a full guide where I style everything really beautifully so it looks ready to publish on the live website, give me a, a comment and uh, then I will be happy to make you guys a guide. Same thing for Jet Engine. If you want me to show you how you do it with Jet Engine, again, just leave a comment and next video will be that one. Thank you very much and I hope this was helpful.